Hey Pisces, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what the good universe has for you. These are my apprentice tarot deck. They have the words on them. I thought I've always wanted a deck like this. So let's see what the universe has for you. Mm, that one wasn't it even flipped over. Two of Cups, Attraction, Mutual Bond, Compatibility. Next up, okay, well, what do we have here? Okay, Three of Cups, yay. Supportive Alliance, Friendship, Community, Strength, and Unity. Ooh, nice, your tribe. Ooh, Attraction, Harmonious March, Relationships, uh, Duality, Making a Choice for the Lovers. A hierophant, conform, group identification, following rules, tradition. Institution, established religion. Okay. You know what? It kind of looks like somebody's in love. Thank you. Okay. Poverty, material, financial loss, uh, prior health, poor health, um, outcasts in despair. I'm not reading the whole description. Five of Wands, Clash, clash of amb Ambitions, Outer Conflict, Rivalry. It's from a tarot junkies who actually read the tarot cards. I'm, I'm an intuitive. I pay attention to what angels are saying me uh, over the cards sometimes, most times. So this has to do with a relationship, but with that, hi with that hermit popping in, um... A lot of you guys have been thinking about a connection. Um, Angel said rekindle. They're inter They're wanting to rekindle a connection. Oh, okay, okay. So the thought they've been they've been talking to us about this person. I feel like you can't get this person off your mind. You've been thinking about them a lot. Okay. It's the justice. Five. They hurt you in the past. You hurt them. Okay, you both are pretending like you don't want each other, but you do. You both still love each other is what I heard. I also feel like it was an ugly breakup, by the way. Yeah, I'm hearing that this was not amicable by no means. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, there was a bunch of arguing and fighting. I also feel like that was the only way that you guys could survive this was to break it off and separate, by the way. Because I feel like you guys are arguing all the time. And not only that, but you have the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Five of Pentacles is loss, right? Um, feeling left out in the cold. And somebody did that on purpose. It, it feels like spite to me. Oh, Angel just said, you guys took turns hurting each other. Wow. Wow. Whoo, that was a deep message. You took turns hurting each other. Somebody's in therapy or needs to be in therapy related to their pain. I, I, I feel like one of you guys is not doing doing too well. Yeah, I feel like one of you guys is not doing too well. You're not handling this very well. I don't even know what this is yet. Because I see here, right, we've pulled the judgment off the bottom. I see here we got justice with the, with the lovers, right? So that kind of says to me that you guys thought each other was soulmates. For some of you guys, you did get married or you married this person. You thought you were going to marry them. You were engaged. So I feel like the way in which you guys were relating, it, it, you were deeply committed to each other, whether, whether it was some sort of social or legal commitment like marriage, or it was a deep emotional commitment. But what I'm also hearing too, especially with that lover's card and justice, you guys were two peas in a pod. You could finish each, finish each, finish each other's sentences. Hell, y'all started looking like each other. You were so close. And I kind of feel like there was some sort of betrayal, right, that happened. And I also feel like somebody took it hard. Somebody took it deeply, 
Okay, they felt like you threw them away or you didn't want it any, anymore. Or our relationship is a lie and I can't believe you did this to me. Like we're talking full on, you know, best actor in the drama series goes to. And I feel like however this person interpreted this pain, they took it like you were really intentionally trying to hurt them. And what I feel with these cards here was that they intentionally retaliated, right? Um, until the point where angels are saying you guys might have even become enemies. You know what I mean? So in order to stop all of the endless disputes, this world card, I feel like the relationship had to come to an end. But here's the thing. It's almost like anytime any relationship ends, we all we only think about the good parts we don't we don't think about why the relationship ended we only think about oh i miss him laying next to me or i miss the smell of her hair right like we only we glorify the positive parts of the re relationship and ignore and neglect what actually broke us up so that's what i feel like is kind of going on here with the two of cups three of cups and the lovers it's almost like you're reminiscing about this person you're thinking about them heavily and because of how you're thinking about them you're also considering reconsidering taking them back or you know asking them to take you back angels just said to me that old um, um albert einstein you cannot fix a problem with the same mind that created it so that means that until somebody kind of gets out of their head, changes their perception, be mentally open for an apology or a valid explanation or just hearing the other person out. It's like until that happens, there's going to be no success here, by the way. Because this is somebody who um, you, were, you saw yourself being with. Angels also said too, a lot of you guys may know each other, you may have known each other for a long time, college sweethearts, childhood sweethearts, you know, um, high school, middle school sweethearts. Um, that's why it's hard for you to let go because energetically you guys are joined at the hip, so to speak. There's that romantic gesture. Oh, emotionally unavailable. Queen of Cups. Okay, here's what I just got. How can I say this, guys? They're saying, don't try to sweet talk this person, it's like, right? Like, say you're in a good mood, you're reminiscing, you're feeling really loving and affectionate towards this person, and you're willing to, you know, forgive them of their quote unquote sins and move on with this relationship. And it's almost like you call them talking about, hey, how you doing? I know it's been a while since we talked. And I know the last time we talked, it was it got real ugly. But, you know, I really think we could work this out and give me a call when you get a chance, right? Like, and this person is still not over what happened to you guys. So it's almost like because you're reminiscing, because you're feeling good, because you're missing them, you may reach out to them on the strength of those emotions, those loving emotions. But I feel like what you're going to be faced with is emotional unavailability of this King of Swords, right? Somebody to remind you, oh, well, you told me to drop dead last time we saw, right? Whomever, I feel like Pisces, if you're going to reach out to this person, I don't think they're over the argument. Yeah, you guys do need to get back into the romance and the love and emotional connection that you have here. But angels just said some things can't be unsaid. So I feel like in these arguments and however you guys broke up, it feels just, it just feels like there's more time, more time and space that's needed for this person to heal because you made them feel or maybe they made you feel depending on how this resonates they they really <clears throat> they really do feel like you threw them away like you discarded them um angels also said too that king of swords is sharp he has a sharp tongue he's very blunt okay and i feel like there were certain things that were said during that argument bullshit things though right things that were 
you know, you try to make it seem like you were, you know, dealing with three other chicks. No, you weren't right. But you said it and your partner believed you and it hurt them dearly. Right. So now that you are ready to reconcile, doesn't mean that your person is going to be ready to reconcile either. That's the energy I'm getting here. Right. Queen of cups. Somebody's in their feelings. Somebody's feeling in love. Some there's deep, deep, deep love here. But right now there's deep, deep, deep controversy here. So again, let's just go, you know, placement by placement. Um, you guys are, I don't feel like you guys are together. I feel like, again, when you were together, you were like two peas in a pod. I do kind of feel like there was some sort of argument or controversy that broke you guys up. You probably have been broken up for anywhere between two to five months, could be years, could be weeks. Um, now, because one of you guys is heavily, heavily, heavily thinking about the other one, you're also thinking about resurrect. You're also thinking about resurrecting this thing. Um, this person made you incredibly happy. Again, I feel like you guys were highly compatible. I feel like, you know, things were going great. You guys were on a path to some sort of long-term commitment, long-term happiness, long-term, um, situation. Whether this was wedding planning or you discovered they were still married or, you know, something of that nature, that's what changed everything. Your view of them changed as in you stopped looking at them as themselves and you started looking at them as what you think of them based on what they might have done or not done. Somebody's still sitting here hurting, right? And with the Hierophant here, what's that Hierophant, angels? Somebody's in therapy, they said. Somebody is being seen by some sort of spiritual counselor, spiritual. Angels also said, too, you could have gotten hurt by a spiritual practitioner. Again, priest, rabbi, imam. And because you, 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 you had high expectations of them, you didn't think they would hurt you. And think about something. How would somebody, you would never think a priest would break your heart or a priest would cheat on you or a priest. But it kind of feels like, again, there was some sort of religious factor here, right? That caused the pain and or disappointment. But I feel like, again, with this page of cups, that's you, Pisces. Somebody is ready to, to start over. Somebody's ready to reignite this thing, but somebody is not. Somebody is still feeling unheard under, you know, not understood or neglected or abandoned or lied to or deceived. They're still sitting in that energy. And I also feel like there could be future arguments. Again, if you come emotionally and they're not ready for it, you guys are going to bump heads. Angels are saying, you know, clear out this old cycle. Give this person some time. Um, love on yourself. Care for yourself. Take care of yourself. Um, I'm not going to say be, be ready for them when they return, but that's what I heard. Uh, Aries and Scorpio, Virgo, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Cancer. Mm, be assertive. That says be, um, I heard the term be authentic and be accountable. Thank you. There you go. Compromise. Yeah, you can't come back in with that sweet shit. You're going to have to apologize. It would if you're at fault Pisces, I would say open up conversations with an apology. If your person is at fault, I would open up conversations with the uh events that happened to see if that will lead them to an apology. I would not force them if you call them, I wouldn't force them to apologize to you, especially when you called them. There's something better. Angels just said, unfortunately, for some of you guys, this won't be repairable. I apologize for that. I'm sorry to hear that. In other words, communicate clearly. I do feel like you guys have another heart to heart or head to head conversation that you need to have. Helpful people, again, that's your tribe, right? Three of Cups, people who love you, people who are around you, people who celebrate you. Um, you know, you may need your tribe for those of you where this is unrepairable. 
All right, Pisces, I love you so much. If the reading resonates, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.